Welcome, sports fans. Thank you for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Joining me tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. I'm Brian Anderson, along with reporter Ali LaForce. As we get deeper into the season, the Eastern Conference standings are really taking shape. Let's take a look. You take a look at the Heat. Right now, sixth in the conference. They want to keep improving. And, of course, there are the Hornets right behind them, just one spot down. Right now for Charlotte, I really think they've been hit and miss thus far. I mean, they are a playoff-level team. But are they championship-level? Probably not. This has been the thought all along. They have enough to compete night in and night out. They're not taking four out of seven from a top team in this league. No way. So the Hornets starting five. Hayward and Bridges at the small and power forward spots. LaBella Ball is out there with Miller. And it's Williams in at the five, roaming the paint. And for my... Miami, Hero and Butler make up the perimeter pair. Martin at power forward with Adebayo as the center. And it's Lowry in at the one. And a battle of the bigs tonight, Grant. Something we're seeing a little more of lately. And you know this league is a copycat league. And right now the trend is about teams looking for size and skill. Big guys who can pretty much do everything. That's the thing about the NBA. It's always adapting and always evolving. And Kyle Lowry is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Here's Bridges. Pass the ball. Back to Bridges. Six to shoot. Here's Miller. Knocks down the long J. And there's a reason Miller was a volume three-point shooter in college, because he's extremely accurate. Now out of bio. And here's Hero. 19-footer. That won't go. Misses his first shot of the game. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Hornets. It's a three-point game. Well, some guys tend to shrink in big moments. Tyler Hero, not one of those guys, Steve. He believes in himself, and this team believes in him. Whether it's a timely three, drive to the bucket, draw and dish, Tyler Hero makes winning plays. So it's Miami now. The Hornets making their last shot. Out of bio. They shoot again! And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Putting on his hard hat right there. Bam excels at tracking down misses. He's a relentless worker. First personal foul. First team foul. Now at the line, Bam Adebayo. One. Free throws good, out of bio. And talking about Bam out of bio, he's a guy that loves mixing it up on defense. Really. Yes, B.A., and that is what turned himself into a defensive player of the year candidate. Bam's high activity is really contagious on this end. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was...
was the defense on that play. No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Now here's Hayward. Pass the ball. Up and over Lowry. That went off the back iron and out. The Heat have gone one for three so far. Inside. Martin, the pass to Butler. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Adebayo, a screen on Hayward to the inside. And finished off by Adebayo. Great dish, an underrated part of Butler's game. His ability to create for others. The Hornets have gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Ball against Lowry. Here's Miller. Right now averaging five and a half a game. And it's Jimmy Butler with the foul. That's his first foul. The Heat making a switch here. Robinson's checked in. Now in the game, number 55, Duncan Robinson. Now, if you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Clock at six. Williams with it. Guarded by Adebayo. Takes the three. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Yeah, the instant LaMelo sees the opening, he's moving the ball. He jumps at the chance to feed a wide-open guy. Pass to Adebayo. Over Williams. And Adebayo, the bucket. On the assist from Robinson. Adebayo's got seven. The Hornets with a lead. Here's Miller. He has six. Here's Ball. And so far in this one, two for four. You know, another guy who has increased his play and his strength. LaMelo, much more solid now shooting through contact. Now here's Butler. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. They get it back. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Hornets. The Heat beat them last time when those two met in Miami. Big loss in their last meeting with this team. Couldn't get anything to fall in that one. Hero against Hayward. Pass to Robinson. Now here's Hero. Out of bio, a screen on Hayward. Hero for three. Buries it from three. That's his signature move, Tyler Hero, using the screen to create just enough separation. Time called time out, here. Time out. The Hornets decide to talk it over. <laughs> and we'd all love to hear what goes on in those huddles, but we just get the snapshots. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. Teams will make substitutions. Let's take this time to see the teams who were picking the most pockets over the past month. Fourth, Miami. They've really gotten after it at the defensive end, and that's been generating turnovers. Minute four left in the first quarter. Pass to Rozier. From downtown. 
Oh, cranks that one. He's 0 for 1 to start. The Heat have gone 4 of 7, shooting a solid percentage. And they're on the run. Jumps up. Throw it down on the breakaway jam. And it's energy like that on both ends of the floor that's got them out ahead. Hero against Rogier. Hero, the pass to Adebayo. Over Williams. And Adebayo, the bucket, on the assist by Hero. And credit his teammates for feeding him all quarter. Robinson against Martin. Pass to Rozier. And that one's on target from the wing. Check out Rozier striking from mid-range. Maybe catching the defense off guard a little. Hero against Rozier. Hero with it. Outside love. The three. And again, Miami with a triple. Well, we know Love's been a great shooter for many years, but his catch-and-shoot game has reached another level. And a high-scoring first quarter. Both teams really filling it up. It's the Hornets leading by one. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. If you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for Charlotte. For me, they're turning defense into offense, creating opportunities by taking the ball away. Great effort. And also their pressure defense is paying dividends tonight. Turning them over and getting out in the open floor and running. Smitty, we're right about at that middle part of the season now. When, if ever, do coaches feel comfortable about their team? Well, I hope they're comfortable right now, but we know, B.A., coaches are always on the edge of their seats. This is how the floor looks for the Hornets starting the second. Ball and Rogier, they man the backcourt. Nick Richards out there with P.J. Washington. And it's Martin in at the three, the small forward. Miami trailing. Now here's Richardson. Outside Love launches it, drops in the three. Love's got six. Back-to-back -back threes, making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. On the wing, Rozier. He's guarded by Hero. There's Ball with a three. Ball oh, cashes one in from distance. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Pass to Richardson, three-pointer, and the Heat, another three. Continues to develop as a playmaker. It's nice to see Tyler Hero create for others. Smitty, when you look at the Heat bench, there's been one constant presence for years now. B.A., his name is Eric Spolstra. He's been pacing that sideline since 2008. That's a rarity these days. It speaks to the success Coach Spo has had there. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over.
checked in for Miami. Bridges, he's checked in for Charlotte. Miller comes in for Martin. And so Lowry will bring it up for the Heat. Their next game is at Barclays Center in Brooklyn for a game with the Nets. That'll be the first leg of just a two-game trip for them. Love finds Hero. Love a screen on Rozier. Hero for three. The Hornets pull it in. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Pass to Richards. Ball against Lowry. It's stolen by Love. Baquez, the pass to Love. Two points. That one goes. Love's got five points now in the quarter. Good presence inside. Kevin Love with the composure and skill set to score with consistency on the interior. Here's Ball. The shot no good. Miami has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. And you don't see many six, seven point guards. But that's not all that stands out with LaMelo Ball, Grant. Yeah, not just a creator. He's a creative with the artistic inspiration to make plays that most of us couldn't envision, much less accomplish. Lowry, no good. Charlotte trailing. Rozier outside. Pass to Richards. Ball taking his time here. On the take. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That'll belong to Kyle Lowry. And, and the acceleration off the drive is amazing. Ball can be tough to catch up to. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Heat? Well, in my Take opinion, the way Take the break. three has been falling Take for them up. here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. Man, they're just having their way, bullying the other team in the painted area, imposing their will down there whenever they want. Man, that one falls for Ball. Well, Grant, we saw a lot of lower seeds winning series in last year's playoffs. Is the regular season losing importance? You know, B.A., there's greater parity, which means less separation in the league, especially between the top seeds and the bottom seeds. But still, the league needs to make sure regular season games do matter. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Pass to Adebayo. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Adebayo's got 11 points. Nice work in there by Adebayo. He sets a physical tone for this team. Bridges passes to Ball. Bridges, a screen on Lowry. Here's Miller. Ball outside. Shot clock at six. Again, the miss by the Hornets. Miami has gone four or five from outside the arc in this one. Adebayo passes to Jaquez. In the first half, you want to stay aggressive, but you also want to be careful. That is his second foul already. And the Hornets making a change here. Rozier's checked in. Terry Rozier, the third. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Adebayo. Williams grabs the board. Charlotte has gone three of four from distance in this game. Rogier against Lowry. Rogier right side. And it's Jimmy Butler with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Second team foul. One nineteen left in the second quarter. Hayward outside. Back to Rozier. Five on the clock. Puts up a three. I love Kyle Lowry's commitment at the defensive end of the floor. He's a hard-nosed player. Lowry with a screen on Bridges. Hawkins, the pass to Adebayo. Uses the glass on the layup. 
Adebayo's got 13. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. It's Bridges on the wing. There's 38 seconds left to play in the first half. Williams, a screen on Richardson. Launches a three. Miami grabs the miss. Adebayo's got four rebounds now. Pass to Butler. 15 seconds left in the first half. Adebayo, a screen on Hayward. Butler passes to Adebayo. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. And now a six-point heat lead. The emergence of Adebayo as a scorer, this franchise has to be ecstatic. And so it's the Miami Heat with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. Glad you're joining us for halftime. And fellas, how about Bam Adebayo getting it done to start the game? Bam has been the man in the first half. He's on. Not a lot of guys can keep up with him. So mobile for his size, he's got the skill, Shaq. These new eight centers are just something else. The days of the slow big man might be over. Sorry, Shaq. And let's take a glance at what lies ahead. A look at the upcoming schedule. An easy opponent is just what they need after some tough breaks. This is just, uh, you know, for them to start new, get their mojo back. They need to go in and attack more and create some momentum. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. It's been a clinic out there by Bam Adebayo. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. And here's Ball. Butler and Martin, the duo at forward. Lowry and Hero are the guard set. And it's Adebayo in at the center position. That's the group on the floor for Miami. The kick out to Ball. Fires for three. And he scores it. Now five of nine from the field. I like how aggressive LaMelo has been tonight. I mean, just looking for his shot consistently. Hayward against Butler. And Adebayo, the bucket, on the assist by Butler. Adebayo's got 17 points. Charlotte has gone four of eight from three, a nice percentage. As tough as they come, Jimmy Butler. What does he bring to this team, Smitty? B.A. Hart and the way he competes out there, it is infectious. Jimmy challenges his teammates to raise their level of effort. And coaches, they love Jimmy Butler. There's a screen. Ooh, an open look for Hero. And again, it's Miami converting. Beautiful form on that jump shot. When Tyler Hero puts it up, it just looks like he's going in. Ball against Lowry. Right side, Williams. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Hero. Oh, 
Out of bio, a screen on Williams. Here's Hero. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Heat lead by six. A tireless worker. You don't have to call plays for Adebayo for him to score. Ball finds Bridges. Back to ball. Williams with the screen. Down low. Out to Hayward. Beyond the arc. And again, Charlotte with the triple. It's hard to believe. Looking at the three ball now, there was a time Hayward might have turned down that shot. Adebayo passes to Butler. Oh, he misses the dunk. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Hornets. When this game is done, they'll be off to New Orleans as they take on the Pelicans. That game will conclude the three-game road trip they're currently on. The rebound by Lowry. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. Alley-oop up top, hammer at home. Caleb Martin going over the top. Special to watch. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. How about Bam out of bio? What an impact he's making. You have to make it harder for him to score. Deny the ball, even double, whatever it takes to force someone else to beat you. Robinson, he's checked in for Lowry. And the Hornets making a change here as well. Rozier, he's checked in for Ball. One fifty-two left in the third. Bridges finds Hayward. Back to Bridges. Hayward outside. Six on the shot clock. Over out of bio. Again the miss by the Hornets. This has been a close game in a lot of ways. But they do have an edge on the boards. Martin, the pass to Hero. Adebayo sets a screen. Hero with the bucket. Now it's a seven-point heat lead. I loved it by Tyler Hero, a good player who's only going to get better. Rogier, the pass to Bridges. Got it. Good job in the low post. Their spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more threes to stretch that defense. Pass to Butler. And stolen by Williams. Rogier against Hero. Here's Miller. He's got nine. From deep. And the Hornets, another three. 
They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Outside Butler. And here's Adebayo. Pass to Hero. 19 seconds left in the third quarter. Clock at six. The three is up. Miller pulls it in. Now Rozier. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. We're at the end of the third quarter, and we've still got a close one. Heat out in front. They're up by two. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. And meanwhile, Eric Spolstra rallying the troops. Trust each other these last minutes, okay? Work for a great shot. Don't settle. Reaching teamwork. Eric Spolstra trying to bring this unit together down the stretch. Yeah, play unselfishly, make the extra pass, force the defense to have to work hard to try and stop you. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Fourth quarter, on the court for the Hornets. Ball and Rozier, they man the backcourt. Cody Martin is out there with P.J. Washington. And it's Richards in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Lowry against Ball to tie it up. Ball in the paint. Yeah, inside Ball has to rely on his agility. That's how he finds his way to close-range looks. Lowry, the pass to Robinson. Back to Lowry. No one near him. Miami, no good that time either. Missed opportunity wide open for mid-range. He would love to get that one back. Rogier finds ball. Washington outside. Here's Rozier. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. For three, Robinson. Yes, and it's out of bio, picking up the assist. Robinson's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Pass to Richards. Now here's Ball. Washington, a screen on Lowry. Here's Ball. It's hauled in by the Heat. Lowry's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Jaquez. Now here's Adebayo. Hounded by Ball. Outside for Love. Takes a three. Washington grabs the miss. The Hornets have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. To the right side. Rozier outside. Back to Ball. It's hauled in by the Heat. Now Robinson. Pass to Lowry. Now out of bio. Covered by Richards. Out of bio. No good. Charlotte's gone 7 of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage from distance so far. Rozier from outside. Charlotte again missing. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Here's Adebayo. That shot off. Good work defensively by Richards. Here's Martin. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. All right, 
guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the Heat? Smart ball handling from them in this one. Passing around to get ahead of the defense and putting it in the hands of ready shooters. Also, they were ultra consistent from outside, hitting a high percentage of those shots tonight. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. They're trailing by one. We've got a minute 48 left to play in the fourth quarter. for the Hornets. Williams has checked in for Richards. Miles Bridges comes in for Washington. And Miller subbed in for Rozier. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Hi guys. I had a chance to find out what Steve Clifford was discussing with his players. He seems pretty disappointed with the three-point shooting, telling his crew we have to start making more outside shots. I want to see more threes out there. Let's get aggressive. Coach is hoping some big production can make a splash for them. All right. Appreciate it, Allie. Free throw, no good. Bridges passes to Williams. And Williams punches it home. It's the little plays like that that can make all the difference. Not boxing out on free throws is a killer. Butler against Martin. Fires top of the key. Butler with the bucket. Butler's got his first points of the night. You need a big basket, you turn to Jimmy Butler. He's the first option in their offense. Ball against Lowry. Williams, a screen on Lowry. Ball passes to Williams. And stolen by Adebayo. Here's Hero. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. At the stripe, Tyler Hero is a consistent shooter. The defense might have fouled the wrong guy. <laughs> Shooting two. He hits the first one, and that'll put him up two. He's an offensive-minded guard with limitless scoring potential. I think Tyler Hero will be a household name soon enough. Gordon Hayward, he's checked in for Charlotte. So he gets them both. And it's a three-point game. Tight ball game. Who do you want at the charity strike? This guy. Lowry against Ball. Pass to Williams. Bridges outside. From the arc. And Hero grabs the board. After clawing their way back in, that was a chance to even things up. Ever so close. Needed that one to go down. To the paint. Here's Butler. Oh, he got him with a pump fake, but he couldn't finish. And the game isn't over yet, but they have to move quickly. You know what? Their focus right now, every possession has to yield points. Oh, whoa, that is as clutch as it gets. Big time play. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Second team ball. Now at the line. Shooting two. Good, good, good. 
He drops the first one, and that'll put him up two. Oh, you know Lowry loves these moments. Game on the line. Give me the ball. And so both free throws good. And it's a three-point game. Huge shots. Tremendous job stepping up in a big way for them at the strike. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. They're down by three. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Side. Pass to Miller. Williams with the screen from the high post. The kick out to Ball. The three ball. And buries it from deep. Oh, a tremendous three. We're tied. Miami calls timeout. There's six seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. And here's Butler outside. It goes! Oh, Are you goodness. kidding me? That's how you beat the clock. The winner at the buzzer. It doesn't get any better. One of the 
greatest shot you'll ever see. The three with nothing but zeros left on the clock. So it's the Heat taking the W in a close one. That was an incredible night of hoops. A tremendous finish. They waited until the very last moment to seal it. And so many times we see these close games won by the home team. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Well, I'm here with Bam at Abayo. Bam, your energy was felt tonight. How do you dig deep to give your team that boost? Just sacrificing. Just going out there, laying it on the line for my teammates. And just going out there and just, you know, playing hard. That's what I do. And, you know, it got contagious. The hardest part is bringing that every game. Guys, back to you. All right, Allie, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. So for Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson thanking everyone for watching tonight's game as New Balance presents our player of the game, Bam Adebayo.